Hello there YouTubers and welcome to another Dr. Cassette video. Today we are going to take a closer look at this Techniques Compact Disc Player Model SLP110. I got this thing a while ago at the dump and it came as a part of a complete stereo system made by Techniques. Um, but I'm not sure if this particular CD player was actually part of that stereo system because it does look quite different from all the other components of that stereo system. However, um, I think the first thing we're going to do is uh, to take a look at the features. We'll start right over here. We have the power switch. Then, of course, the drawer for the CD. Right there it says Digital Random Program. And underneath of that is the Open Close button. It looks kind of golden, but that's because of the ceiling light. It is totally black. Uh, there is the Repeat button. It has a little symbol in the display as well. And there it goes. Next along we have the time mode. We get the usual track time, then the total remaining time of the CD, which is only five minutes right now. Then we get the remaining time of the track, which is the same because this is the last track. And then we get the total time of the CD. And back to the track time. Next along we have our memory uh, recall button. I don't know what that does. Uh, this um, CD player offers a program function so that's probably uh, something to do that. There we get our skip and search buttons. Uh, the search has two speeds. It starts very slow and then gets fast. So you can see There is our stop and clear button and our play pause button right there. And let's see what it says right here. High resolution digital filter high speed linear access system and that's true. We are going to, ta to talk about that later on. Fine focus system FF1 and a brushless direct drive spindle motor. And that's for sure, direct drive, um, well most of the CD players are direct drive, um, but there were CD players which were not direct drive. <laughs> and uh, that's it pretty much for the features. I don't have the remote control for this thing. One interesting thing is that this CD player um, has an output with a relay control. So the output is muted uh, if there is no audio. And you can hear the relay clicking if I press pause here. Right now it's playing. Let's press pause. Yeah, there yeah, you can hear the relay clicking. It's a really interesting construction. Now, for the high-speed linear access system. Well, that's a really interesting system. Now, usual CD players, you have um, the laser, of course, sitting on a thing that moves back and forth to read the CD, and that's all driven by a little motor and um, a lot of gears. Not with this CD player. It's really an interesting construction. The laser assembly is sitting um, on some metal parts and around those metal parts the laser assembly has some solenoids. And um, according to how the solenoids are powered, the tray with the laser on it moves either forward or backwards. And um, so, because there, it's it's all driven by, well, by magnets basically, uh, by the solenoids. It works really, really fast, and um, 
you know, compared to the usual style, where you have the motor turning the gears, um, which is of course pretty slow. I want to give you a sample of that. Right now I have the CD player in the stop mode, and we want to go all the way to the end of the CD to track 11, and now I want to press play, and the time till that uh, until it starts playing is really, really, really short compared to the other CD players with the usual system. Here we go. And there you go. Usually, uh, the motor with all its gears would have to drive the laser assembly all the way to the end of the CD. And um, not with this one. With this one it goes really, really fast. Now, of course, there are times whenever it's not too good to have the whole laser assembly uh, just running in there freely. For example, if you want to move this CD player. For those cases, you have this transport lock right there. There's a little thing, a little blurry thing. Let's see, there it goes. And you have to pull that out to lock the laser assembly in place. You push it back in to unlock that. The other Technics CD player I recently found had exactly the same system, but on that CD player that was messed up and it would skip all the time. And you basically just had to touch the CD player and it would skip. And also this one is really, really sensitive. Um, but with the other one, the other one was just damaged. It would also skip with absolutely no reason. The cool thing about this one is that it is working with absolutely no problems. There was something wrong with this whenever I got it, and that was the drawer. The drawer is of course powered by a little belt, and that belt was just loose. So, um, I well first I took out some bad repair attempts of the previous owner who had added all sorts of springs to pull the drawer out, um, which was absolutely stupid. Um, and then I had to take out all the mechanism to get to the underside to replace that belt. But now the drawer is working a hundred percent. I also lubricated all its gears and um, <laughs> my oh my, this is running really really quiet as you're going to hear right now. Here we go. <laughs> That's really really quiet. Here we have the drawer and this is a bit of a crazy construction. Right there it says Techniques floating optical system and that's basically what it is that high-speed linear access system <laughs> just another name for that now right here in the middle you get this weird thing now technically this does not have any function at all it um, whenever the drawer slides uh, into the mechanism this thing here is moved down so that the CD is just lying in the drawer usually. So this is basically just a little help for to take the CD out more easily. <laughs> Funny thing. And um, yeah, with the drawer working, all the CD player is working as well. Another thing I like about this CD player is how fast it reads the CD. If I press close here, just look at the display how fast it reads the CD. And that's it. <laughs> really nice. Here we have the back side of the CD player and uh, before we take a closer look I have to correct myself. This CD player uh, does not have its own remote control. It only has this check right there where it says remote or a system remote control. And there we have it. Techniques class 1 laser product. 
There is a line out. That's the only output. It doesn't have any digital outputs. The AC in. Really nice. This one has a detachable AC uh, cord. Always like that. The system remote control jack right there is another sign that this CD player here uh, is not part of the Technique stereo system I found it with because uh, that stereo system does not have any system remote control. So, I think that's it pretty much for this CD player.